Hello everybody, today on the table we've got this power supply, it's Sony from a TV, obviously it's not working, but we are gonna make sure that it is really not working, sometimes people are mistakenly think that the power supply is not working, but actually it's a TV or the device itself. Because not everyone has a multimeter. Okay, let's check the output. There is no short and there is none. And uh, also we confirm that the cable is connected to the, the PCB and we see the rectifier diode. Diode. <laughs> not diet. Okay, let's see the voltage. Here I have some voltage because I checked it in the diode mode. But it's not definitely 19 volts. And also the input 250. I use isolation transformer, of course, for safety. You should do it also because it's really dangerous to make it to connect it directly from mains. You should not do this. Okay, here are some plugs. We are removing them. And by the way, Sony uses screws with a dot or a bulb in the center. I don't really know how to name it. Anyway, that's the inside. There is a shield, as always, in these types of power supplies. Output capacitors looks good. Cable also good. We already confirmed it. I'm gonna remove the shield and proceed. The shield is unsoldered. Now we remove the rest of it. Just like this. That's okay, and nothing obvious as always, as very often, I would say. No burning elements, nothing indicates us to the problem so far. Let's see from the other side. From the other side, I don't see anything also all right so first of all let's check the fuse if the fuse is okay probably our power elements are also good diet bridge power transistors We know that the output is also kind of okay if the fuse is okay. So that leaves us to the control circuits, may, maybe control IC, PWM IC, or something like this. Okay. I didn't, sh didn't show you the whole process because it took me some time to find the problem here is a resistor you can see on the input I ho have 350 and at the output 1.6 and I replaced it it's 10k 
SMD resistor 1206 and it goes from from here through the jumper and to the IC usually resistors don't fail by itself so I changed the IC DAP 019D I've got that in my stock and now if we check the same resistor check the voltage as I said I do it with isolating transformer here we have 350 and on the output of that resistor kind of the same voltage and now let's check the output probably we are fixed yes the power supply is working now it's time to put everything back to put the shield back not gonna show you the process and we test it so everything put back let's confirm one more time that we fixed the power supply power elements were not damaged only control circuit so I'm not gonna put it under the load this one is fixed give it a like please and see you next time bye